This video is made possible through a partnership with Humble Bundle. As a Humble Partner, all Humble Bundle purchases through the links in the description below will help support the channel. To tell you guys the truth, I don't feel exactly comfortable promoting this bundle because I'm really not the kind of guy that likes region restrictions. This bundle is only available for those that live in the North and South Americas. And while normally I would stand against promoting something with region restrictions, this is simply beyond my control. But it's PlayStation and at least some people are going to enjoy it, so I'm going to go ahead and do it. Today's Humble Bundle is the Indie PlayStation Bundle 2019. This is a bundle of indie titles that are released on PlayStation. That is to say, the PS4 console, I believe. And do we have some great deals here? Yes, indeed. What we have here is a collection of great titles valued at $239 altogether, all yours for the price of whatever you want. Pick a level, pay an amount, and you get the games. From Grin Fandango Remastered at the $1 level, to Layers of Fear for paying above the average, to Killing Floor 2 and Shadow Warrior 2 at the $15 level. And some of these games even come with soundtracks that you can download and listen to. Proceeds from this bundle will support not one, not two, not three, but four different charities. The charities we are supporting today are Game Changer, which delivers meaningful services to hospital patients and staff, awarding financial aid and college scholarships, and bringing the gift of gaming to patients in hospitals. There's also special gaming events that they host too. Save the children. When crisis strikes and children are most vulnerable, Save the Children is the organization that are the first to respond and the last to leave. They ensure children's unique needs are met and their voices are heard, doing whatever it takes to reach every last blessed child. The Red Syndrome Research Trust. Red Syndrome is a severely disabling neurological disorder that affects primarily women. They affect 350k girls and women globally with 16,000 of these cases occurring in the states. This organization emphasizes transparency, accountability, and relentless dedication in pursuit of its mission. And you will also get to support a charity of your choice. For me, it's Child's Play. If you want to get yourself some games and help out these organizations, please use the affiliate link in the description below and you get to decide where your contribution goes, how much of it goes to the publishers of the various indie titles, how much goes to all the charities, how much goes to Humble, and how much goes to me. Don't forget to donate as high as possible and put your name on the leaderboard for all to see. Act quickly for this offer ends February 12th. Thank you for watching, and now some Yu-Gi-Oh! Hello the people, I am Page, and welcome to another vlog. Now, I should really talk about what the heck is going on here because this is obviously a much different setup than what we're all accustomed to. The reason I'm doing it this way is because I guess everybody on YouTube is doing this kind of thing nowadays, huh? Like, talking over gameplay footage about stuff that doesn't necessarily have to do with the gameplay footage. That's how people do vlogs now. Heh, <laughs> it's funny. Like, I'm worried about how this type of video is gonna go because, like, Sheriff Factory's telling me that I have like 10 minutes of footage to talk over, and I'm not sure how this is gonna work out, so we'll see what happens, I guess. Um, yeah, editing's kinda out of the question, so if I stutter or if I go silent, that's something we're gonna have to deal with. Um,. I should probably talk about the gameplay footage so I can be fair about this. Um, this is Yu-Gi-Oh! Legacy of the Duelist. Of course, if you watched my first YouTube live stream, you would know that. But, um, see, I decided, since I'm not going to do another live stream for a while, since I'm approaching the end of my data cap, I figure I might as well grind in between sessions to make sure I'm not, like, you know, still weak as hell by the time I get back into it. So I figured, in order to not spoil the story, I would start, like, building a deck with the cards I unlocked and taking on the duelist challenges. 
uh, Yuya Sakaki and uh, who was the other one? Uh, Mako Tsunami. Yeah, those were the only two guys I unlocked to go against. And I, my plan was I would duel those guys, earn points, use the points to buy cards at the card shop, and continue building the deck, rinse and repeat. What you're seeing is like the best of the best. I went up against Mako Tsunami once before this and once after this, both did not end well. This is like the best I could do with what I got. It was like the only one I bothered to record. But yeah, again, I don't plan on um, doing another live stream again until at least the 8th or later. You'll also notice that I blurred out the username of my PSN. I did that in post. And uh, that's because I'm not comfortable with people knowing my PSN yet. You might have seen it in the um, last Share Factory Flicks I did, but I'll just say that that may be my PSN, that may not be my PSN. You may never know until I'm ready to tell you. Um, on the subject of Yu-Gi-Oh, uh, I do have plans to do more Yu-Gi-Oh stuff on the channel in the future, but it is just coming out very slow. My next Yu-Gi-Oh video that I plan to do is a review of the Speed Duel Starters because at the time of recording they're either about to come out or have already come out. It's going to take a while for me to get my hands on a set though because like uh, I live in Michigan and it's pretty friggin cold right now like two degrees high like like so cold you could literally be a block of ice by the time you're done. Either that, or you'll become one with the frozen winds, and then you'll be the next annoying little prick that sings Let It Go for 10 hours straight. Not that I don't love the song, because I freaking love it. I j anyway, I just don't think that being one of the first people to get my hands on the set and talk about it on the internet is worth literally freezing my body over for. It's not like it's a Pokemon Go Community Day event. Calm yourselves. Anyway, um... After the starters come out and I review them, I might end up going to an event in early February where I play this new format at a local card shop. I don't know if I'll film there or talk about my experience, but we'll have to wait and see. As far as other Yu-Gi-Oh! content though, Can You Duel is the thing I'm working on. and. I haven't recorded anything yet, I'm just coming up with concepts because, like, it's, there's going to be some relatively plain episodes and some relatively interesting episodes. Like, it's going to start with your standard, it's going to have your standard deck limitation challenges like only fairies or no traps or whatever. And then there's going to be, like, win condition challenges like you have to win after doing at least one fusion summon or something like that. Like kinda like the stuff that you do in the video games. Try and challenge myself and my deck building skills in real life and in Nexus and Percy. But I'm also going to do some bizarre stuff when and if I can incorporate it. I'm already talking over some concepts with Chris about challenges that involve randomly singing, randomly deleting cards, maybe some being boozled stuff we don't know. Only time will tell. But there will be plenty of great Yu-Gi-Oh stuff. Yu-Gi Month, I'm still working out the kinks of the new timeline that we're working with, but we'll see what happens. I might be able to work on that within a month or two. Speaking of games, YRC Gaming. Uh, I'd say it's going great, but I had to tell you now that things are a bit slow right now, and they're probably going to be that way because one of the co-editors on the project, DSimXD, has school and as we all know school is important and because school is important he's gonna have to lighten his load on stuff which means more of the YRC Gaming production stuff falls to me and because I'm working on my own channel and my own personal life it's gonna be a little slow but I will get it done 
don't worry about that. There will be more Let's Plays, there will be more Players Let's stuff. And it's just gonna be fun. We're all gonna have a grand old time. I'm actually working on like more Joe Dance stuff for the player select reels. I I'll have to look back at them and see what I can do with them. I just hope they work out well. And uh Great, I still have two and a half minutes to kill. What else can I talk about? Um uh, TV works great. It's displaying the PS4 and doing all the cool things. Uh, I might hook up more things to it so I have more things to play, more things to record in the future. But um, I'm not gonna work. On, I'm probably not gonna work on recording more stuff all at once. At least not for this portion of the month because I'm still waiting for the eighth for my data to come back before I upload and download so much. Uh, what else? Hmm. Like see the Duelist, I should probably talk some more about this game. Um, yes, this is the PS4 version. I actually rebought it so I could do Share Factory and stream stuff with it. Now I know what you're thinking. If you wanted to stream Legacy of the Duelist so bad, why didn't you just do it on the one? Well, the one only lets me stream to Twitch, this lets me stream to YouTube. I like streaming to YouTube. And after the first successful stream I can definitely say I am going to have more. And then there's the thing of like, oh you can record Xbox footage so why are you doing it on PS4? Well one, I don't feel like digging out my capture card and two Game DVR doesn't exactly let me store my finished projects to flash drives, now does it? This way I can have the humble sponsor at the beginning and the end screen at the end without spamming the eclipse effect like I did in the last um, uh, Share Factory flick. Uh, and you might notice the title said no cam vlogs. Uh, I'm not gonna make that an official title or anything, it's just the first title that came up to my head for an idea of a series of vlogs where I don't have my camera on. And uh, that's because you can't use a USB camera with the PS4. You have to have the PlayStation camera and it's really expensive and nowadays I most commonly see it with uh, PlayStation VR. And uh, PlayStation VR is expensive as hell, and it'd be cool to own, but I'm not made of money. Uh, I might as well talk some more about ways you can help me out on the channel, because I it's been a while since I reiterated them. In addition to subscribing, liking, and sharing, you can, of course donate money on Patreon or buy me something from the Amazon wish list. Links in the description below. And um I'm running out of things to say, so I better go before I start rambling. Uh thank you all for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.